Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, I am back for another one. I cannot wait to show you the things that I have found for this haul today and we are gonna jump right in and then at the end, we are going to stick around for a little chit chat for those of you that want to stay and hang out. So let's get started. I am so thrilled. I am so happy to have found a Mrs. Myers product at the Dollar Tree. I was so, so excited. This is a scented wood bead diffuser made with essential oils and it says that it lasts up to 45 days. Right here, we have some instructions on how this thing is used. It says slide outer sleeve upward to separate completely from diffuser. Then inside, remove the fabric pouch from its protective wrap and put the pouch back inside. Just twist to release the scent. Hold the base of the diffuser while twisting the outer sleeve to adjust the intensity of the fragrance. So there we go. And then those little vents right there will help the fragrance seep out. I'm so excited. This right here is a honeysuckle scent. So I'm really, really happy to open up that package and use this diffuser little set and wicked excited. I love Mrs. Meyer's products, but they're a little on the expensive side. So I'm actually surprised to see that. And I was so happy to pick it up. Now I do want to revisit my favorite things ever. I found a different scent of these wonderful odor booster beads for the laundry. This is Aroma Booster and Odor Eliminator. This is 17.5 ounces. And this is something that I will pick up every single time that I see them, especially, especially when I find new beads. And these are orange. I've never one time ever found the orange ones before, but the fragrance is spectacular. It smells so lovely. And I stocked up on a bunch of them. So now I have different scents of the beads. And I love that. I found, I found this amazing Bodyology, that's what it says, Cherry Blossom. This is Cleansing Shower Gel. This is an eight ounce tub, so beautiful and fantastic. And just in time for a little Valentine's Day gifting. This is um, just a lovely scent. Love that scent so, so much. And then always twist the top to make sure that the secure part is still on and intact because you don't want anybody messing around with your stuff but i can't wait to actually use this for myself it smells magical so i love that i love it and i love it um then i went and picked up a perfume i love their perfumes and i've bought the guys um colognes from the dollar tree many many times over and i think that they are fantastic. I think that they have a very decent long lasting scent and they're always comparable to a perfume that is actually way more expensive. So this is number 33, our version of Glow for Women by Jennifer Lopez. I love that girl. I love J-Lo. So this says it's 2.5 fluid ounces and a great pickup. I just think it's spiffy. I hadn't seen the J-Lo one in quite a while, so I definitely wanted to grab it, but I have gotten this before, and I can tell you, I liked it very much, so I'm happy that they have it back, and they have been stocking up like madness this week to prepare for Valentine's Day, so I found it. I did. I definitely did. This is Personal Care Brand, and this is Sea Salt Hair Spritz for beach beautiful style. This is jasmine and organic coconut. Yes, I definitely spritzed it just a tid once I got in the car and it is delish. I cannot wait to be beach sun kissed and smelling like this. This is 6.7 fluid ounces and I hope it works just as well. I have a very natural wave to my hair and these sea salt type of things that I've been picking up from the Dollar Tree whenever they appear work really well in my hair. And this is actually something that I used in my hair for my wedding day with sea salt in it. Not that particular product, but it did come from the Dollar Tree and it was a sea salt spray. So I hope that one works just as well as all the other ones that I have grabbed over time. 
Love that, and the scent is good. This is a Freeman brand. I love Freeman. You know I love Freeman. I pick up anything that has that name on it. And this says free of, this says free of mineral oil, parabens, sulfates, and folates. Uh, yeah, yeah, I hope I'm saying that. I'll uh, write ultra healing cream mask for dehydrated skin. Sunflower seed oil plumps almond oil restores dermatologist tested and it does say leave me on that's what it says right there leave me on and this is three fluid ounces so yes I will I will leave you on and see what it does for me and I am happy about it so there is that amazing product to go with all the other fantastic Freeman things that I've picked up over time from the DT my whole family uses it and they think it's pretty pretty fancy now I did find these wonderful DIY pins there's eight of them in here and I thought that these were great this is the first time ever I've seen these particular ones I love the layered look of them I think that they're so pretty I am probably going to pull them off of the pins and just use them for embellishments I think the hearts are so adorable so I picked up this great bag right there but those would also be cute for like a photo um like type of garland if you're going to do something like that romantical for your girlfriend your wife your whoever your boyfriend your husband your fancy friends um and put your pictures up on a rope and then pin the pictures with these yes i think that that would be really really pretty then i found more of these beautiful porcelain hearts i found these over christmas and i loved using them to embellish on them i actually made many many ornaments out of these for my candy themed Christmas my little puppy furry dog daughter that passed away a few months ago and I built such cute little pictures onto these and used them to hang up for decorations so I found this one again and then they had a star and like an octagon shape as well but I love those and then sticking with like the theme of hearts and Valentine's Day for a moment and gifting ideas for that, I did pick up a bag of the kisses, the Hershey's Kisses, milk chocolate. So I picked these up and I'm going to gift them away to my son with his balloon and his card, which I'm going to give him and his girlfriend some date money in there for the weekend. So I picked those up. I was looking for the hugs too, but I couldn't find them and I had to give up on that. So he's just going to get the kisses from mama. Um, balloons. Let me tell you, these balloons on a stick go for about $2.99 at many other stores around my vicinity. At the Dollar Tree, we know what price they are. They're $1.25. I got this one for my husband, the one with Minnie and Mickey, given a big old smooch. So I love that. So I'm going to give that to him with his little gifts. Um, So that's a really great price for those. Then, then, oh, then I got these balloons right here so that I could gift them this one for myself. I have to say I did get this one for myself. I love it so much with the beautiful llamas. And it says on it, whole llama love. So these same exact size, same exact style of balloons go for about $5.99 at other places around me. And right here, I got the taco one for my son. This one says, I love you more than tacos. <laughs> so I grabbed this sweet, beautiful one for my boy. And then for his beautiful, wonderful girlfriend, I got her this one. And this one has the avocados on it and she loves avocados. This says, you're all I ava wanted. <laughs> and that is just so 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 incredibly cute so i picked those balloons up and now i'm telling you about 5.99 to start is the price point that those exact style balloons go for outside of the dollar tree cards balloons and a half a dozen million other things i would only pick up at the dollar tree because they are way more expensive elsewhere so there's that now i did put a little gift together because i have to go see a little wee princess this weekend and give her some valentine's day presents i picked these up for her i love 
love, love the colors. I've seen the finger paint paints so many times over. They do have a lot of the primary colors, but I could not resist getting these for her because they are all beautiful pastels. And for the holidays, for Easter especially, these would look so pretty in an Easter basket if you're making like a little bubble bath little gift set. So this is what I grabbed. I grabbed the bubblegum pink one right here from Crayola. And all of these are three fluid ounces. Right here is the lilac purple. Then we have the sunshine orange in there. And she's going to have so much fun for tubby time. The sea green. I love this one so, so much. And then right here we have the sky blue. So I grabbed those lovely ones and then I grabbed a rubber ducky because you cannot not have a rubber ducky for bath time. I mean, really, we just can't. I did find a whole box of these little beauties, these little gems, but this one was definitely bling bling and a lot of fun. So I am going to give it to her and I think she's going to love it. It's a really good size too. And we always loved rubber duckies. I did. My son did. We just loved them so much. Now I found this little blind ball right here and they did have so many to choose from. I took a lot of pictures pertaining to this haul to share with you guys on my community tab. My community tab is right here on Crazy Days of Callan. You just have to scroll through the categories until you find community. Click on it and then you can see all of my posts and I show you a lot of the other options other than what I haul um, to give you your other choices from the Dollar Tree. So this one is the Disney Princesses and this is one activity sheet and 40 stickers inside of here. So that is going in her cute little happy Valentine's Day set. Now my heavens I'm going to show it to you but I'm going to try not to dump everything over that I'm trying to juggle over here. I got her the lol little fashion doll set. She is going to love this. She loves lol. So this is mix and match fashions. It has one paper doll scene with stand, one fashion sheet, and one sticker sheet inside of it. So really, really fun, amazing, and cool. And look at all the options in here. She's going to have a blast decorating and designing that. So there is that for her. Now that is her little basket set that I'm going to be bringing to her. We're going to move on from there. I found more options from those little um, kind of like paper doll sets. And I picked up these two separate things to go together for gifting purposes. This is a little squishy toy right here, even though it's quite firm. I found a whole box of Marvel ones, but I needed Spidey. I definitely needed Spidey. I think he's super duper cool and cute. So I grabbed him and I have a picture of the others. And then this whole box in that same style that I just showed you with the LOL, this says build three friends, create it, activity set, four sheets of perforated foam and instruction sheet. So we have this and look at those guys down there that you're going to be able to build. That is so much fun. It is just so much fun. And $2.50 Anybody is going to appreciate that and love that, you know, just as a little gift to say, I love your whole face. And, and it's just so fun, so fun and so entertaining. Then we have a bunch of different varieties of these in the store, but this is the one that I chose. I love my road trips. Yes, I do. You guys hear me talk about it from time to time. I love road trips and I always had them growing up. So this really, really was my favorite. This is the travel bingo and tic-toe, tic-tac-toe little um, game. And so we have this side right here, road trip bingo, all those cool things. They have two markers inside with some dry erasers. And the other side is tic-tac-toe, but they have a whole array of ones to choose from. This one is just too cool. We used to be in the car playing all kinds of games. I spy. We used to like try to make the 18 wheel wheelers honk their horn. We were all over the place in the car. We played games from here to the mountains, back, the beaches, camping trips, us, you know, kids, we were in there having a blast. We didn't have electronics growing up, so we had to entertain ourselves on those road trips for sure. And that is just so fun. That is so fun. Easter baskets, 
you know, Christmas is coming back around and there's always a birthday that you have to attend somewhere. <laughs> So then I found a whole array of different style card games, but these ones were my favorite. I definitely had to grab Uno, and this is a mini, mini set of Uno cards. I think that's just so cute. And this is pocket-sized cards. So who doesn't love a good Uno game? Really, really awesome. We love to play Uno with regular cards. We love to play like Rummy and Go Fish and War and Crazy Eights and all that stuff. So I needed those. Then I found a ton of different choices, but I definitely wanted the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I think that they're so awesome. This is the um, actual jumbo playing cards for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And also, if you don't wanna use them for play, if your child is into like the theme right now of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in their bedroom or whatever, these would be really, really cool and amazing to decorate with somehow, some way, and do some, you know, styling in their room with these because they're really vibrant, pretty, and they're jumbo. So I love that. I can't wait for you guys to see like the box once you stumble upon it of all the other things that you can choose from and that type of style of cards. Now, I definitely found some more of my strawberry little, little uh, treasures. I love novelty pens and I found this one right here that has that big old strawberry on it. This is from the Adore brand that came out like over when school supplies were being put out. And I don't know what color it writes in, but I don't really care because it has a big old strawberry on it. And I think it's really, really cool and stylish. So this is for my strawberry obsession right now. That is going to carry me through like spring and summer coming. I'm going to collect everything I can possibly collect in strawberry, wear in strawberry and smell like in strawberry. <laughs> and then I grabbed this keychain right here from the Adore brand as well. And I love this flimsy, cool little feeling strawberry that I'm going to attach to my wristlet and let it dangle off of there. And it's just so pretty. Look at how beautiful strawberries are. I think that they're awesome. But they did have some other keychains to choose from in that Adore line. But of course, right now, I'm collecting strawberries. Then I found up by the register, I grabbed this keychain. I just had to. How perfect is this for a last minute Valentine's Day little gesture to give for loving purposes? This is a really cool one and it comes with all of these little tassels on it and little pendants on it. That is just really, and it's cute packaging as well. So I picked this one up and it's perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. If you're going to go out, you're going to get your mom a purse, your nana a purse, your girlfriend a purse, your wife a purse, your whoever you want to get a purse and then pair a cute little keychain like this with it as a gift. That is like a good old time. I just like it a lot. So I have that for you guys. Now let's get into some Easter stuff super duper fast. Um, I found this amazing pillowcase. I love it. That pillowcase is the cutest right there. That's what it's going to look like. And this is the one that I got. I do think that they had another color option available, but I definitely wanted the pink one so that I could represent my little baby girl in heaven with the pink on the couch for Easter. Does it give measurements? Let me see. It says it's 15.748 inches by 15.78 inches of a pillowcase. So I love that it has a zipper on it so that you can pop the pillow right in and cuddle up with it on the sofa. I love that and it's so cute. I did grab another gnome. I had to. I found three more that I hadn't seen before. I hauled another gnome for you guys probably like a week ago and I said I was done with them. Then I found this guy and I'm going to have the other one I hauled plus this one, embellish them just a little bit more to make them blingy and fun, sit next to each other for Easter decorating, and he is so cute. But um, I love him, and he's got a lot of beans in his bum. He's got a lot of beans in his bum so that he can sit up straight, nice and tall, not have to lean on anything. His little felt feet will hold him into place, and he is a looker. Look at that cute little face right there. So I'm going to doll him up, make him jazzy, and show you guys when I'm done 
at some point decorating for Easter, even though we have a little bit of time before all that goes down. We definitely do. Oh, hello there. I had to bend. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> I found this sign. I found this sign and I thought it was just this side at first. I love it. I love lavender. I just love lavender. This is Bunny Kisses and Easter Wishes and it's shaped like a big old tag. I think it's really, really, you know, just beautiful, pretty and purple. But then I turned it over. I turned it over and there's a whole nother side to this. Look at there's a lavender bunny with a little pom pom tail addition. And so dual purposed, you can flip it, give this side a week, flip it, give that side a week. And it's just fun and it changes it up a little bit. So I thought that that was really nifty and cool. I didn't even realize it until I brought it home, unpackaged it. And then I noticed there was another side to it. So that was like a bonus treat for me. I found this beautiful circular decorative piece and I love it so much. It says, welcome to Cottontail Farms right there. And I love love that bubblegum pink truck that is what really got me the fender is like popped out a little bit it's glued on both sides so it gives that like that dimension I love the little bunny in the back with the eggs but the truck that color was for sure my favorite and I love a circular sign so I picked that one up and I love all that glitter shimmer and shine in there too so there is that. Now I grab these and I love these picks right here so that I can pop them into a really pretty floral arrangement and um, decorate for Easter with them. There's big old carrots. There's two of them in there for $1.25 a piece. And that is going to situate really nicely in a floral bouquet right into like a little sponge base in the bottom of like a pot or something to display on the table for Easter. I love the layering of the carrots and that really vibrant green top. So I picked those up for sure because I thought that those were pretty nifty and cool. Now, my heavens, I found these and I have a story behind these. So I'm going to tell you while I'm showing you. So here is this one. This is actually the one that I did find. We were shopping in Boston at a Dollar Tree and I was accused of putting this one inside of this plastic wrap. Um, I was accused of actually putting another wall cling inside with the gnomes. So the manager actually very angrily went over, ripped the whole display off of the wall of like hundreds of these and unpackaged every single one of these. And she would not listen to me. She would not. She had nothing nice to say. She did not see that up here in the corner, it clearly says, turn me over 24 clings. She said I needed to pay separately for both of these and that they were not together. So I didn't argue, I just left it there. And now every single Dollar Tree that I've gone to for the last four days has had them in the packaging. So just be aware of this in case you're ever questioned and point this out. So it says, turn me over 24 clings. We have this beautiful side with all of those sweet muffins right there. And then this side with all of those beautiful, beautiful Easter eggs. So I was so happy to find it again and see that I could purchase it without any hassle. So I grabbed that. Then right here, it says, turn me over 28 clings right there in the plastic wrap. We have this beautiful, lovely side right there. And then we also have this side, which I think is magnificent because it's almost like color forms. It's, and it's also um, like dress up for dolls. They have this side that says, build your own bunnies. So it shows you like a little box right there. And then the bunnies, you can dress up in their outfits with their accessories. And that is a lot of fun for playtime. So it's decorations and it's interactive play with these clings. So I love that. I've never seen them offer that before, but that is too cool for words. Then we have this lovely one right here that says, turn me over 23 clings. And those beautiful Easter babies right there. I love the chickie in the basket. And then we have this side right here that made me laugh and giggle and feel so happy. 
This unicorn looks so happy to be holding that egg. It is just the cutest thing. And that shark right there looks extra excited to be wearing that bow tie and those bunny ears. <laughs> so that side was a treasure, just an absolute treasure. So I was really thrilled with the wall clings. They've done a phenomenal job with the wall cling options for certain. Then lastly, but not least, oh, we have two more things actually. I got this box right here, this decorative box that I intend to decorate with for summertime. It gives me like mermaid, oceany vibes, and I love it. I actually got the bigger one and the smallest one. So I picked them both up so that I could stack them together. I think that they are just so beautiful, so absolutely beautiful. And I think that they're going to look super pretty and maybe like a little small faux po uh, potted plant on the top and a cute space for summertime decorating. And they're also really, really convenient and fun and pretty to gift things away in. So there are those. Now, last, last but not least, I found this tacky glue. I love when the Dollar Tree has tacky glue. Um, a bottle like this goes for about $3-ish when you go to craft stores outside of the Dollar Tree. So this is tacky glue and it's three fluid ounces and I definitely need it for all of my crafts that I got going on and all of my intended crafts that are coming up. So that is it. That is it, my beautiful, sweet people. I am Callan. For those of you that are new here, I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and it is certainly my happy place, and I love you guys, and thank you for spending time with me. Now, for those of you that want to stay, we have a couple of blind bags to open that I've hauled for you from the Dollar Tree until they're gone. I have a little bit of Valentine's Day books to share some more pictures and sayings to you. And I also have my own Disney Dorables collection things that I wanted to show you the next line of. So let's get going. Now, for time saving purposes, I already opened this bag and took the baby out. This is the kitty in my pocket blind bag. And how sweet and wonderful is that adorable little kitty that's licking his paw. I think that these are so, so amazing. Blind bags, it's a fun time. It is, I don't care how old you are, it's just a lot of fun. And then the puppy in my pocket blind bag, this is that sweet baby that came out of this blind bag. And I've never seen a dog that looks like this in my lifetime, but I sure wish I would because I think he is just as stunning as stunning can be. He's so cute and sweet and wonderful. And so those are the two babes that I found um, in my puppy and kitty in my blind bag this week. Now I feel like I just dropped something and I think I sure did, but it's gone now and I'm not going to try to scourge around, uh, like scrounge around for it. These are my Disney adorable collections that I collected over the month of December from my husband gifting me the Disney adorable blind ba bog bags and boxes and everything else. This is the Moana one. This is baby Moana and there is Moana right there a little bit older and I think that they are so adorable. I love, love, love them. And then here are some of her friends. Here are some of her beautiful, wonderful, gorgeous friends right there. So, I, and I love the piggy. My son loved piggies when he was growing up. So that one, I am so happy to have because it just reminds me of the little one he always used to hold in his hand. And then I can't remember if this lizard came from Moana movie. I can't remember, but he's just He's stunning, and I wish I was colored like him because he is beautiful. <laughs> so there's my Moana line from the Disney Adorable Collection. Then in my photograph book that I ordered for my husband for his Valentine's Day present, this is the next page that we are on. And these are, uh, you know, I just made a whole book of all of our date days and our downtime together. And right here, we're at the beach. We climbed a huge, huge hill and we were on top of a rock just laying in the sunshine together on a blanket. And then over here, we were actually walking around lakes up in the mountains. 
So there is this page to share with you guys. And I'm going to continue sharing them with you until the book is over, even if we're past Valentine's Day. And then this is the writing prompt book from the Dollar Tree that I filled out for my husband. And we are on page... We are on these two pages right here, but I'll read you this side for today. If we were stranded together on a desert, on a deserted island, I'd be most grateful for, I filled out your arms and hands hugging me and rubbing my back because I'm probably stressed out and have a lot of anxiety <laughs> and your smarts to build a hut and a fire. <laughs> so there's that side right there. And I can't wait to read more of it to you guys. So that is what is though, you know, what I wanted to share with you guys today. I love you guys so incredibly much. I hope you go and have the most wonderful, amazing, fantastic, blessed, and kind, loving weekend on the planet, in the world. My hopes and dreams are for you guys to always feel loved and blessed and to always love and bless others. So I will see you guys on happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. I love all your faces. Bye guys. Have a good one.